Welcome, in this video, I'm sharing seven money managing tips that you can apply to save money today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Elena. I make videos about money from home because I want to empower you to see a brighter financial future for yourself and the people that you love. Please consider liking this video and subscribing for more. First up is be ready to pivot. Be ready to change strategies, adjust your strategy, all the time. If you have kids, you know that each phase seems to only last about two weeks. And before you know it, you have to do something different. So for me as a mom, I'm trying to be consistent with my working out, but it's always changing and I always need to be okay with changing my plan. If I get all excited about my new workout plan and my workout plan is to go for a walk every single day. So that'll probably last for a month before the weather changes. My baby decides that they hate the stroller. My back hurts because they're too heavy to carry in the pack. Something will change and I will have to adjust my strategy if I wanna continue working out. So this is also so so true with your budget. Things change. We all know that the prices of things have been changing with inflation. So what was an economic food may not be an economic food anymore. Every single month is different. Uh, where we're going on vacation, what we're doing this month, um, what free activities there are or aren't changes, the weather changes. So just be ready to change your budget and try not to just give up and throw in the towel when something changes. If you are expecting that you are going to have to pivot and change directions with your budget once in a while, every month, every other week, um, you won't give up as easily because you know that change is coming and you are going to work that out. Next up is don't go extreme. Be a realist with the budget that you set up for yourself or the money plan that you set up for yourself. Make sure that it's actually doable. I think extreme budgeting can lead to yo-yo budgeting. You may have heard of yo-yo dieting and that's where you get really excited about a diet and then it's so extreme you can't keep it up and then you're like, forget it. I'm just gonna eat whatever I want all the time. And you're going back and forth from those extremes, being super committed to your diet and not caring about your diet at all. And this can happen with your budget. And I don't want this yo-yo budgeting to happen because that doesn't lead to real lasting progress because sometimes you're on fire for your budget, you've got this plan, you're all in on your budget, and then the next week you're like, forget it, I broke my budget, it's over, I'm just gonna buy this $1,000 coach. If we can avoid that yo-yo budgeting, we can take little steps towards our goals and actually get there. Next up is plan for the unexpected. Where in your budget, where in your plan is a plan for when things don't go according to plan? Because let me tell you, life happens and things do not go according to plan. So if you decide to go on an extreme spending freeze for 90 days, that is going to be the 90 days where all of your things break. If you have not allowed for anything to ever go wrong in your plan, before you know it, you're gonna have to give up on your plan and abandon it because your fridge doesn't work and you have to buy a new one. Make a plan for how you're gonna get back on track with your budget. Maybe set aside some money so when something bad does happen, you're prepared and you can still stay on track with your budgeting plan, but also still have a fridge. Next up is to underestimate yourself. Underestimate how much you can save and impress yourself. So say you are working on getting your food budget down. So maybe it's $800 now and you're like, we are gonna slash our food budget in half and we are only gonna spend $400 on food this month and you get super gung-ho about it. I would encourage you to not put that you're only gonna spend $400 in your budget, but maybe you need to put $700 or $600 and then if you blow it out of the park and you figure out how to eat for $400, which would be crazy, uh, you will be so impressed with yourself and you can save that extra money and put it towards your money goal. But if you put your budget down to $400 and then you miss the mark because you spent $500, you will not be impressed with yourself. But if you gave yourself wiggle room um, and then you beat 
your goal, you will be so impressed. So be nice to yourself and set yourself up for success by being a little lenient with your budget goals so that you can be impressed with yourself instead of disappointed with yourself that you spent $425 because that was $25 over and not celebrate how much money you did save. You wanna collect little money wins for yourself so that you are excited to do the next step, to try the next thing, to try out this other strategy. But if you keep getting losses because you set your goals a little bit too ambitiously, you are not gonna be encouraged to try the next goal. This is just a psychological trick to encourage yourself to keep going with your goals. Next up is to know your weaknesses and to make a plan. Know what you are like and what your spending habits are like so that you can make a plan to balance yourself out, to hold yourself accountable for your savings goals. And this will so not be the same for everyone. And this is why it's about knowing yourself. It's not about knowing what Sue down the street needs to do to keep her money in order. Maybe you are prone to impulsive shopping. Maybe you need an accountability partner. Maybe you need to have someone who you need to consult before you make any purchase over $100 or maybe any purchase under $100. Maybe the small things are your kryptonite. Maybe it would help you to have a 24 hour rule where you don't make any big purchases until you've waited for 24 hours. I leave things in my Amazon cart and I see if I remember them the next day or if I was just feeling bored and I really wish that an Amazon package would show up at my door. Maybe your kryptonite is cash and if you have cash in your wallet, you will spend it. So maybe what you need to do is take all the cash out of your wallet. Maybe your kryptonite is credit cards and maybe you need to be extreme and cut up your credit cards or freeze them in a block of ice in your freezer. So this is about knowing what makes you spend more money than you want to and coming up with a plan to combat it that is tailored to your needs. Own what is happening with your money and your budget. This is a really tough one. This is kind of like if you don't know there's a problem, you can't fix it. So owning what's going on, owning your part in it and how you are contributing to your money issues uh, is so difficult but so essential to figuring out how you are going to move forward and win with your money. I want to share your money win stories, big or small. So check out the description box. I'll have my email down there and you could share that story with me and I will do my best to share it at the end of a video. And last but not least is to plan what you're going to do instead. Don't leave a big hole in your life. So if some of your favorite activities involve spending money, you got to plan what you're going to do instead or you're going to be sitting on the couch thinking about how this just really sucks and saving money is no fun. So maybe instead of online shopping, you've decided you're going to watch cooking videos on YouTube to figure out how to make some fun new food. Maybe instead of hitting up your local mall, your plan is to go for a neighborhood walk. Maybe instead of getting your daily Starbucks, you are gonna try to make some look-alike drinks at home. There's lots of videos on YouTube about how to make drinks that taste and look like Starbucks drinks. So that could be a fun thing to experiment with. Have something specific in mind that you're gonna do instead of spend the money that you don't wanna spend. Share in the comments, what is your money managing tip. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.